Hi everybody, welcome to the Spectator in the Zone post game show. Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons and Ike Kitman. Uh, Jack Coffey Field at Fordham in the Bronx. Lions just suffered a 52 to seven defeat uh, at the hand of, hands of the Rams. We'll pick up the action in the first quarter. Miles? Nottingham was sacked on his first drop back as a line, and then here a drive later. He looks to his left, he goes to his left, he escapes one, there's two. He's got a third, will he get sacked? Nope, not there. Tries to escape another, but he can't do it, and he's taken down for a 23 yard loss. Later in the quarter, running back Carlton Coons took this handoff in for an 8 yard touchdown to make the score 7 0 for him. Started the second quarter after a Nottingham pass on the sideline to Connor Nelligan for a first down at the fourth and 13. The quarterback is late on the out round that's intercepted by Jordan Chat. They got a field goal off the turnover. To go up 10 to 0. Then in the third, things got messy. After a the fumble, Lions had second and eight on their own 18, and Nottingham gets blasted by Ian Williams. Ball squirts into the end zone, and Brett Beasley falls on the floor. Fordham and touchdown. They're up 17 to 0. Next drive, Nottingham fires over the middle to Ryan Flannery, who has the ball go out of his hands, and it's picked off by a defender. On the ensuing drive, Newbrick drops back and hits Brian Wetzel over the middle for a 29-yard touchdown pass, making the score 24 to nothing. The Rams would score 14 more points in the third. With the score now 52 to nothing in the fourth, Trevor McDonough is in at quarterback, and he throws this nice pass to Ryan Flannery for Columbia's only score of the day. The Lions would recover an onside kick but couldn't get any more points as Ford and Force to turn over on downs and would get to take a knee to clinch the Liberty Cup for the fourth year in a row. So obviously, Miles, um, a big factor today uh, on both sides of the ball for the Lions was uh, getting beat up front. Yeah, they did get beat up front, and like you said, on both sides of the ball, it started with the offensive line. The Lions gave up five sacks today. That's not good. You're not really going to win when you give up five sacks, four of which uh, came off of Brett Nottingham, and one of which was Trevor McDonough. And then also on the other side of the ball, the defense got beat up front. I mean, they allowed way too many rushing yards. You're talking about 271 yards on the ground. Right. Uh, in net 259, what have you, but that doesn't matter, you know? And obviously, losing Say at a bio in the first quarter doesn't help you any. Mm -hmm. But when you give up that many yards on the ground and when you get beat up front both ways, you're really not going to win the ball game. Right, um, that was a big, big story, uh, like like we said, on both sides of the ball. Um, and Ike, another big, uh, big issue for the Lions was uh, mental miscues. You, you could definitely see that uh, there was some some nerves, um, some rust maybe uh, for, for the first game of the season. Yeah, totally. The big one was the fair catch at the for, uh, one yard line. Mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of drops from young wide receivers. And uh, Nottingham looked rusty at times, but I mean, you have to keep in mind that he hasn't played in several years and it's a lot of new players on the field. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, Nottingham hasn't really started a game since high school. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, even if when he was at Stanford, he was behind Andrew Luck, he's behind all these other guys, so, you know, it doesn't matter. Right, and um, also uh, important to keep in mind that this was a team playing, uh, a Fordham team that was playing in its fourth game of the season, whereas the Lions um, were just playing uh, their first game. So, I mean, definitely you don't want to sort of rest on that as an excuse, but... Uh, right. They're not, ex it's not an excuse, but it is a factor, and it, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily something that you can just dismiss. Definitely. So, um, definitely not the result the Lions were looking for today, um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back in action uh, next weekend at home against Monmouth, and hopefully we'll be able to turn things around. And um, we'll see you next week.